US Air Force has just started a search for a new training jet, issuing requests for proposals on December the 30th. Significantly, this high-profile bidding process will be the first to be conducted under a new US administration, led by President-elect Donald Trump, who has directly called into question the cost of major military programs, such as the F-35 fighter and the Air Force One head of state transport aircraft. Four companies will be competing to replace the Air Force's aging Northrop T-38 Talon aircraft. Boeing and Saab with a new single-engine design, Raytheon and Leonardo Fin Mechanica with the T-100 variant of the new twin-engined Alenia Air Mackey M346 Master, Lockheed Martin and Korea Aerospace Industries with the T-50A variant of the single-engine T-50 Golden Eagle, and Northrop Grumman with another single-engine clean sheet design. On December 20th, Boeing achieved the first flight for its new training jet. Test pilots flew the aircraft for 55 minutes, taking off from St. Louis in Missouri, where Boeing has its test facility. The Air Force expects to award a contract this year for the $16.3 billion acquisition of a new jet and all the associated ground-based training arrangements. When selected, the new jet will serve as a lead-in trainer for fourth and fifth generation fighters. It's expected to be ready for initial operational capability by the fourth quarter of 2024. So the long lead times for these complex defense requirements underline the potential difficulties associated with a new political administration taking office with an agenda of openly challenging and potentially even trying to change existing programs. It begs the question, is there any possibility that the Trump administration might seek to unpick existing contracts or try to change requests for a proposal like this TX requirement? Truthfully, nobody in the industry seems very certain of that. At AIN, we'll be following it closely, and of course, we'll be very eager to hear from the defense sector itself as to how it's going to deal with this new environment.